Okay, well, okay. So today we're looking at Tuesday, September 4th, Transformation Monster, and that's going to be on page 6. Now, today's going to be a little different in that your note page and your page that's going to be graded will both go in your journal. Normally, it's just your notes. In this case, we don't have really notes and assignments. The notes and assignments are all kind of merged to one. Okay, so if you would, update your table of contents. All right, now your table of contents are updated. Let's take a look at the notes. So you have transformation mantra on page six. Okay, so x is x variable, and I used h in my notes, but to correspond better with today, I'm going to use f of x. So f of x equals y. It's not wrong with h of x, but I just want to correspond. So f of x plus k or f of x. Now f of x plus k is up. F of x minus k is down. Okay. Now here, now when you have a times f of x, it's a vertical stretch when a is greater than one. When you have a times f of x, and it's a vertical compression if a is greater than zero but less than one. Okay. Let me just change all these h's at all at once. And then it's not wrong, but I want to correspond with the monster assignment note page you have. All right. Now, when you have negative fx, it reflects over the x-axis. When you have f of negative x, it reflects over the y-axis. Here, you have f of x plus h. It's left. Now, here, it's opposite. Okay? So instead of plus, you think going right, but it goes left. Here, minus h is right h, so opposite. Okay? Here, when you have f of b of x, it's a horizontal stretch when b is greater than 0 but less than 1. And when you have f of b of x, it's a horizontal compression when b is greater than 1. And then here you have all of it combined into 1. Okay, so if you would update your notes. All right, now your notes are updated. Let me just scan back there just in case you missed something. Let's move on to the move the monster. Okay, now first things first is we need to find the original points of f of x, and we're going to make a table. Okay, now I have x of y, but really you need to get in the habit of instead of y, we write it as f of x. Okay, and I'll show you why now. So here, when we had the point negative 3, 0, that's actually negative 3. f of negative 3 equals 0. Here we have negative 1, negative 3. So it's f of negative 1 equals negative 3. This point is 0, 1, so that's 0. f of 0 equals 1. And then 1, 0. So 1, f of 0 equals, or I'm sorry, 1, f of 1 equals 0. And then 3, 0, so that's 3, f of 3 equals 0. All right, so I'm going to go over a couple problems that help, should help you complete the assignment, okay? Now, keep in mind, you can use your notes to help you. So here, I see this, so I'm looking for something like it. Aha, I have it right here. So I have f of x minus h. That means my transformation should be right h units, okay? So since we're going right, that affects the x value, not the f of x value. So we have negative 3, 0, negative 1, negative 3, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 3, 0. Okay. So since we know we're going right two units, we're going to add 2 to each of the x values. Okay, so negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus 2 is 1. 0 plus 2 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. Now, in order to get a grade, you need to do your transformation in a different color. Okay. I'm also going to box in the new values.
All right, so we're going to graph those. So we have negative 1, 0, 1, negative 3, 1, 2, 3. And I recommend connecting your points as you go. So 2, 1, so 2, 1. And remember, it has to be the same shape as this. So 3, 0, and then 5, 0, so 4, 5. So you can see from both your notes, and what happened, this was transformation of right two units. All right, so if you would update problem number two. All right, now let's look at number three. Now here from our notes, I'm looking for something like that, and it looks like... I have it right here. So it's plus, so we know we're going up, okay? So again, since we're going up, that affects the f of x, so we go back to our original point. So negative 3, 0, negative 1, negative 3, 0, 1, 1, 0, 3, 0. So since we're going up, we're going to add 2 to the f of x values. So 0 plus 2 is 2, negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1, 1 plus 2 is 3, 0 plus 2 is 2, 0 plus 2 is 2. All right, and again, we're going to do a transformation in a separate color. And again, I'm going to box in the correct value, so don't actually use the wrong ones. And I really recommend doing this because I was I actually made a video before this and I wasn't. I, I made several mistakes. So I actually had to redo the video because I wasn't boxing in using the correct values. Okay, so here, negative 3, 2. So negative 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Negative 1, negative 1. Again, you want to connect as you go. 0, 1, 2, 3. And then 1, 2. So 1, 1, 2. And then 3, 2. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Now you can see from your notes and what happened, but this went up 2 units. All right. Let's look at the next one. Now, I'm only going to go over one more problem, but I do want to give you a warning. Number 5 is very tricky. Okay, you have to think about it. Okay? So be very careful as you work number 5. All right, but let's work one more together so you should have a broad idea of how to work all the problems. All right, now I'm looking for something like that in my notes. And it looks like I have that right here. So that's, we already know that it should reflect over the x-axis. Let's see if that's true. Since it's reflecting over the x-axis, that means we're going to do this right here. We're multiplying a negative times the f of x values. So again, the original values are negative 3. Um, well, you know what? I did you one favor. I, here's the, the original picture. So negative 3, 0. Negative 1, negative 3. 0, 1. 1, 0. And 3, 0. Okay, so just like the problem here, we're going to multiply the f of x values by negative 1. And I'm going to use parentheses just so there's no confusion that I'm not subtracting. So 0 times negative 1 is 0. Negative 3 times negative 1 is a positive 3. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. That's 0 and that's 0. graph those points. So negative 3, 0. So negative 1, 2, 3, 0. Negative 1, 1, 2, 3. And again, you want to connect as you go. 0, negative 1. 1, 0. 
and three zero. So you can see here that it reflected across the x axis. All right, so at that point, um, you should start working on finishing this assignment. And just remember that it needs to be completed by the end of class, Tuesday, September 4th, okay? So with that, have a wonderful walk at